In the immortal words of the Prince of Persia, no, that that that's not what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Here's my thing, though. You Please, your first rope. Space, it please. explodes. I made it to the end of the level without being glomped by a fangirl. <laughs> Today is a good day. <laughs> and now it's Metallic Madless Madness Zone, also known as not Scrap Rain Zone. A weird mix between Scrap Rain and Metropolis Zone. <laughs> I will say though, uh, Metallic Madness' is bad future music has, goes under my book as the trippiest Sonic music ever. I like the past for this level, and then we're not gonna see it. It's all construction cones and shit. It looks almost comical. No, I still say the most trippy music in Sonic history is uh, Death Egg Zone Beta from Sonic 2. <laughs> <laughs> That up there was an extremely random platform. I'm gonna... <laughs> I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about the catapult, the red and blue catapult thing. Yeah. Like it's just it's there and it's nowhere else. Was like throughout this throughout this song we get the, we get those random vocal effects like like, a, like it's like as if the, if the Tasmanian devil were in charge of the sound direction. But, um, I love those. I love those bowl-shaped areas with the spikes in them. By the way, they're so fucking hard to get out of if you get stuck in one. If <laughs> uh, so, but now you're not. Since you're not uh, hunting for the robot generator like I was, you're, you're gonna complete this stage a lot faster than I did. Good. <laughs> I've never actually found the robot generator in Act Two. Well, actually, it would be more accurate to say I saw it through the wall somewhere, and never managed to find my way to it. <laughs> so, yeah. Actually, I would say uh, traveling to the past and getting the robot generator in Metallic Madness isn't that hard. I want to mention something about these spinny things here. If you try running on them, you will fall off, but if you roll <laughs> on them, you'll keep going. So it's a bit different than Sonic 1's, where you could run on them if you wanted and make it easier to jump off in a, in a way you could control. Yeah. Nothing is here besides the future sign. Press the button. One of the things about traveling and about time traveling this level, it always seems like you can't get to the end of the level unless you're in the present. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's my experience with this level. Um, I'm, I've uh, I, I mentioned something of the sort when I was doing Metallic Madness uh, Zone Two. I couldn't find. I didn't know where to go exactly, and I was in the past, and I was sure it was because the level design prevented me from proceeding because of, I was in the past. And then I found out from a few people that the cert, uh, there are two certain springs that launch you, but if you're holding down any direction on the D-pad, they won't launch you as far. But how the fuck am I supposed to know that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. Why would that even matter? Doesn't make sense. Ow! Fire the proton laser beam <laughs> off the main deflector dish. <laughs> oh. I love this thing. It's so random. I love one of a kind gameplay mechanics like this that never come back. Karibo shoe! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's a giant bomb. As if the little ones weren't bad enough. The bomb. It's Chibi Sonic. <laughs> I get to play as a continue icon. I've always wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> My God, it's so adorable. I demand I a fan game be made. I petition to include the continue icon in the next Smash Brothers game. <laughs> Tetris block for brawl. <laughs> <laughs> I'd actually, I'd actually kind of like to see that. <laughs> no, no, really, seriously, I'm not even kidding. That would be fun. I hate that spring. That spring is a dick move. <sighs> uh. 
This is a this is a really random thing, and I kind of like it, but it doesn't actually change the gameplay at all. So it's more of a cosmetic big lift alligator moment. <laughs> and one has to wonder if Eggman could create shrinking machines. Why hasn't he tried to use them on Sonic more often? It doesn't really affect him. No, it doesn't seem to really affect him at all. Well, if anything, you just make Sonic harder to catch. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when Super Boo turned Vegito into a candy. Now he's just harder to hit. <laughs> I had almost forgotten that about that. If you get too far away from those bombs, their fuse will stop. It will stop uh, going. It just sort of forgets that it's on a timer. <laughs> I don't know what that shrinking beam is there for. Like, on the off chance that you're still small on this side of the the, the tube, maybe? I don't get it. Uh, it's these slow-moving things. Yeah. I think this is the soonest time that it's possible to get out. Yeah, it is. Pretty much. Yay! <laughs> one more act, one more part, one more pitiful boss fight to go. Next time! I'm on Sonic CD.